All right, let's see how this works. Um, this is the piston of the 91SR that threw the rod yesterday, and um, I think I found something kind of interesting. This is the um, this is how the piston would lay in the engine as the helicopter sat on the skid. So um, well, clearly the ring is at the top. That'd be front. On the left side over here uh, would be the exhaust port. On the right side would be the the cooling fan. And this is the top side. And what I'm noticing that's interesting is that there's no that there's it's fairly clean up here. There's no oil staining or oil accumulation or anything interesting. And if I roll this to the left of the touch and zoom in. And no sound effects, sound effects. Focus. Recenter. to it. This is, I haven't sprayed it down with anything or done anything. That's dry. I zoom out. It, it's just dry. Now, if I flip it over to the bottom side, you'll suddenly see, first off, notice all the, the, the staining. Uh, indicating there's a fairly good amount of oil getting to that part. It's on the bottom. Why wouldn't it be? Also on the oil passage. See how it's shiny looking? It's because there's oil in it. Um, when I look, and what I'm thinking happening is the top side of this piston isn't getting enough oil because I'm running it too late. Or there's something else. I mean, I, I will admit, I run them right on the borderline. I mean, there. See, you can see the, the, the marks from machining. It hasn't melted or sandpapered. The ring here isn't, it's still black. It hasn't overheated. I mean, there's a piece of crap there, but I don't know what that's all about. But stains, no stains. And I'm saying I probably did this. Now we're looking down inside the piston, and um, this side here is the side with all the good lube. There's nice, good, stainy colors in there. This side is the top side that didn't get lube. Notice, if you can, where the hole for the pin is. The metal has extruded around it, especially on the crown side of the piston. See if I can zoom in and show that to you. Zoom. Okay. I'll pick it up and hold it here. Alright. See if we can find what we're looking for. Right, there's the hole. See how that metal is extruded there? There we go. See how it's hanging out? And that hole inside of that piston is just or the piston where the wrist pin goes in is beat. And um, I think what's happening here, let's switch over to the other side and look at it just for a comparison. You don't see that extrusion. I mean, there's some stuff there. And you see how it's nice and shiny still? It's oily. The bottom side to get an oil, the top side ain't. And there's no reason for the top side not to get oil. It's just not, um, other than I'm probably running it too lean, but a lubrication fix would be much appreciated than making it run fat. And here's the top side for comparison again. I mean, it's shiny only because it's dry and it beat to death. And what happens is I think this top side, this one side of the... Uh, wrist pin hole starts to wear, which allows the wrist pin on that side to start getting closer to the crown of the piston, which then starts m putting the wrist pin at an angle relative to the to the uh, 
connecting rod, which then causes it to to break and because it's getting side forces on it. And um, that would make sense. Let me see if I can see inside here. And this is awful dry looking in here too. See the wear marks there? That would be the power stroke on that side. It's not galled, but it's not pretty either. And um, where did I put the wrist pin? Here's wrist pin. Wrist pin. And um, it's not the healthiest creature you've ever seen. got a fair amount of wear, but again, notice that the wear on the left side, which would be the bottom, there's a big area that didn't get rubbed on. The right side, which would have been the top of the piston, the side that I'm concerned with lube, there's hardly any wear mark, or I mean, there's hardly any area there because the conrod was shifting over as the... Uh, wrist pin alignment was changing because it was opening up in the hole. So that's telling me that the wrist pin was at an angle relative to the crankshaft and it was causing the con rod to slip over to the side. And all of this is because it's not getting enough oil because I'm probably running it too stinking clean. But it makes such good power when it's clean. I can fix that oil problem. Hmm. There we are.